And the eclipse that we have been talking about all morning is now happening as we speak. This is a live look as the moon blocks part of the sun. And good morning on this Thursday, June 10th. I'm Chris Raggy. And I'm Cindy Schuhn for Mary Calvi. Welcome to a special edition of CBS 2 News this morning. Let's take another look at that rare sunrise eclipse. Here it looks more like, uh, look at that. That's pretty amazing. It looks like a crescent sunrise, but in other parts of the world, they're seeing a ring of fire. And the event is about to peak. We've got team coverage this morning. John Elliott is in Point Pleasant, New Jersey at the beach. But first, Lonnie Quinn woke up extra early to be with us this morning. He's live in Westport, Connecticut at the beach as well. Lonnie has a looking from where you're standing. Good morning to you. It, it, it's been great. And you notice from that picture you have on the screen right now, the cloud cover. Chris, I, I was just talking to you guys, Cindy. A little bit of cloud cover actually helps. You, you get to see the outline of that crescent sun, if you will, better than if there wasn't a single cloud in the sky. It's a pretty nice thing to see. Joe, what do you think? Chris is just saying, what do you think of what we're seeing right now? You know, I've, I've traveled the world to see total eclipses of the sun, and I've, I've been watching these all my life. This is one of the most picturesque view that I've ever seen with the, with the sun rising. And again, as we said, look Looking like a like a narrow crescent, a sunrise scimitar, a, a, a sunrise scimitar. Did you hear that one, Chris? That one was or for a you. Sickle, a, or a sickle, <laughs> or, or a, a, a horseshoe with pointed tips. It is it is just a glorious sight as the sun is coming up over the horizon. Now it's going behind a bit of cloud, but still a lovely, lovely view. All right, I want to bring in one other person, Rick. Come over here a second, Rick. Uh, you're, you're, Rick is it Brown? Rick Brown. Rick Brown. Look, he's got like the uh, the Guinness Book of World Records shirt on. Oh. What is what is it? That, what is the Guinness Book of World Records record that you hold? What I hold is in the uh, for the eclipse in 2010. That eclipse went through the South Pacific. Okay. It was visible only from little tiny spots of land, almost impossible to get and what, to. And you saw it more than anybody else? Well, no. We chartered a jet. Okay. And we took 40 people up in the jet, traveled three hours. I was into the South Pacific from Tahiti, and we had a nine and a half minute total eclipse because the plane essentially was following, following the, the channel, path, sure, which sure. slowed down the motion of the right. sun. And, and now, do you travel the world looking at, at eclipses? I travel everywhere to see total eclipses. Hey, you know the next one. The next one is going to be down in Antarctica. Are you, are you going? A little one. chilly. No T-shirts for you down there. <laughs> no, but I will be somewhere in 24, 2024. It's going to be big, just like the one sure, in sure. 2017. That's the one to look forward to for everybody okay. here. And, and again. Are, we, we must be at maximum right now, guys. Right. Maximum is taking place as we speak. So look, get get the camera on, on on the sun. You guys have a number of shots to choose from, some with a little bit more cloud cover, some with less, but it's really pretty darn good viewing conditions. If you can get outside right now, guys, you are seeing the, oh my gosh, Roseanne, everybody, say hello to people. Guys, you're hey, back guys. on TV. Hey guys, guys, three cheers for the eclipse. Hip, hip, hooray! <laughs> and with that, with that, I want to get to my buddy, John Elliott, another celestial human being who loves this kind of stuff. It's all yours, Johnny.